Today, we've got some exciting news for all Samsung users. Hoodle has just released Android 15 to AOSP, which stands for Android Open Source Project. This is huge because it means other smartphone manufacturers, including Samsung, can now start customizing Android 15 for their devices. And for us Samsung users, this is the clearest sign yet that the One UI 7 update is just around the corner. One UI 7 is going to be based on Android 15, and it will come with a ton of new features and customizations. If you're already familiar with Samsung's One UI, you know that it's one of the most feature-packed Android interfaces available. Samsung takes Google's Android base and adds its own tweaks to enhance the user experience. With One UI 7, we can expect an even more refined interface, better performance, and new ways to personalize our devices. Now that Android 15 has been released on AOSP, it's clear that Samsung is working hard on improving One UI 7. In fact, internal testing is already underway, and since Android 15 is officially available for developers, this will help speed up the testing process for Galaxy devices. So if you've been eagerly waiting for the next big update, things are moving fast. The AOSP release means that Samsung will be integrating many of Android 15's newest features into One UI 7. Android 15 brings improvements in user interface design, privacy, and performance, and Samsung will add its own unique features to make One UI 7 even more special. Samsung developers have been exploring new ideas and experimenting with features, and it's exciting to think about what they'll bring to One UI 7. Whether it's new ways to multitask, improve camera features, or enhance customization options, Samsung's One UI updates always offer something fresh. And let's not forget, Samsung's UI updates have a history of inspiring other Android manufacturers to step up their game. It's also important to mention that AOSP releases usually include new security patches to fix vulnerabilities. Although Samsung has its own dedicated system for pushing out security updates, it still relies on Android's core updates to some extent. So the good news is that after Android 15's release on AOSP, Samsung users can expect faster and more efficient security patches to follow. Your Galaxy device will stay up to date and secure, which is always a plus. Now it's not just Samsung that benefits from the AOSP release of Android 15. Google has announced that Android 15 will be coming to Pixel devices in the next few weeks. After that, other brands like Honor, Lenovo, Motorola, Nothing, OnePlus, Oppo, Sharp, Sony, Techno, Vivo, and Xiaomi will begin rolling out Android 15 updates for their phones as well. So it's definitely an exciting time for Android users across the board. Google has already finished beta testing Android 15 and their quarterly platform release, KPR program for Pixel devices is now live. This means Pixel users will receive continuous updates and new features throughout the year. However, for Samsung users, we're all waiting for One UI 7, which will be packed with Samsung's own features and improvements in addition to everything Android 15 has to offer. A stable release following soon after. Samsung typically releases its UI updates in stages. Start if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more updates on One UI 7, Android 15, and all the latest tech news. And don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments section below. Which feature are you most excited about? Let me know. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. 
In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilly smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices one leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.